Billy, a uh, 2 0 defeat to York tonight. Just give us your version of events tonight. Disappointed, very disappointed. I thought it was a good advert for the league. Two good teams. Uh, credit to York, I think. You know, they're one of the better teams that have come here this season. Decent, but you know, very frustrated. I think first half was probably 50-50 in the balance. For the second half, you know, for the first 20-25 minutes we were dominating on top, and then we conceded a sloppy goal, and then one becomes two, and unfortunately we lose the game. Unfortunately, it's been a case of, of that the last few weeks, you know, doing mainly the right things at home and, and dominating the games and having all these chances, but not quite getting the right results. <laughs> it's a, an easy question to ask, but what do you think is going wrong? Uh, I think performance today was better than previous losses against Darlington. We weren't really at it. I thought today, you know, um, energy-wise, honesty-wise, uh, as a group, I thought, you know, up until 70 minutes we looked the better team, we looked the more energetic team. Like I say, probably goals changed games and unfortunately we've conceded the first today and then obviously the second. But, um, you know, can we work the opposition goalkeeper a little bit more? Probably yes. But, you know, I didn't think we I didn't think we performed badly or anything today. I just think, you know, we come up against a decent opposition and the game could have gone either way. Obviously, yeah, with uh, Captain Alex Whitmore, right, you're mm -hmm. the uh, standing captain for the time being. How are you finding that role? Yeah, you know, like the captain or not, I'll, I'll just be my normal self on the pitch and try and get about, try and get on the ball, um, try and organise and lead, lead by example. Um, that's what I've always done throughout my career and work hard. So, uh, like I say, it's something I've not done before. Um, and, yeah, until Wits is back, then hopefully I'll continue um, and hopefully we, we can get Wits back sooner rather than later because he's a big player for us. Obviously, Saturday is all the way back here at Mill Farm against Bradford Park Avenue, yeah. a team that are looking to try and uh, get out of the relegation battle themselves. What do we? How do we approach that game? And how do we sort of change change what's been a losing formula at the moment into a winning one? I think just you know, got to remain positive. Uh, there's worse things in life that's going on at the minute. Obviously, my, I go home now very disappointed, but I've got personal things that are much worse than a game of football. You know, things that are happening in Ukraine at the minute that I watch on TV, much worse than football. Obviously, we want to be winning games week in, week out, but in hindsight, we've got to come in, we've got to enjoy ourselves, we've got to be positive. Yes, we're disappointed, we want to win, but realistically, it's a game of football and we've got to come in and enjoy ourselves. Like I said, we come to work every day, we're fortunate to be full-time. Um, and we've just got to, you know, just got to stay positive, on the right track, get we group around each other. Yes, do we want to win the league? Yes, is it looking likely at the minute? Potentially not, but we want to finish as high up in the league as we can. If we can put two, three, four runs, uh, wins together on, on a spin, who knows what it's looking like because everyone's got to play each other. Um, I think it's very much cliche, but one game at a time. And can we try and put four or five wins on a spin now and see where it takes us?